All right, just a quick video here on the new update. We got uh, 2025.20.3 uh, coming to our Model Y Harbor 4. It has some camera updates, so I'm not sure if it's actually going to be on our uh, Harbor 3 Model Y because one of the updates is <clears throat> the change of the <clears throat> um, wider view to the cameras. So... We have a wider view on the backup camera as well as the side repeaters. So I'm going to go ahead and check uh, how wide the camera view is on those cameras and then compare it after the fact uh, what we actually get. All right, so here's the update. It does say the camera updates for 2025.20.3 are your vehicle's backup camera feed in the camera app now includes a button to toggle between original narrow view and the new wider view. So the side camera feeds also have been enlarged to provide a wider field of view. Now, again, that specifically the side repeaters, I think is probably specific to the hardware four. I believe that the uh, cameras were updated for hardware four to have a wider angle of view. So I don't think we're going to get on hardware for three, but I definitely want to check and see how much wider of an angle we actually get. All right, so we currently already get a pretty wide angle um, on the side repeaters there. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually going to put something on the wall here uh, and actually track it. It actually gets the view of the whole car, so it can't really, I can't track anything on the the uh, left side of this uh view right here but I'm going to put it on the right side and then see after the update how much further it goes um, as well as uh, see what the difference is on the back here um, that one might be easier just with the uh, just with the view we've got there uh, right now you can't toggle anything and you can't actually take the uh, side views off which is interesting Previously, the rear view was actually on top and the side views were on bottom. I actually kind of came to get used to that, but I'm starting to get used to this uh, new orientation. I don't know if they're going to change it for this update, but we'll see. All right, so we just have some painter's tape here, and what we're going to do is actually uh, put this painter's tape uh, along the wall at the front side here, the farthest view it gets, and then... Once we get the update, we'll see how much further it actually can see. All right, so I just put a piece of tape on the wall there and the edge of where the camera can see. So now we can do the update and see where that piece of tape is in the view. Hopefully, uh, we can get beyond that piece of tape and see more to the front of that, which would actually be good because that means that the camera can actually see more for FSD than uh, we've been able to see in our camera view. Uh, also for the backup camera, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of tape right here and see how that changes with the narrow, narrower <laughs> versus wider view. All right, so we got the update installed and so now we'll check out where we're at. And it looks like Look at that. I mean, that is, uh, I'll have to mark the tape and see where it is, but definitely, actually, I guess it's a wider angle on the car side too, I think. I do believe that that is a little bit more of the car, although that doesn't really do us much of any good. Um, but yeah, having more view uh, that way is nice. Um, <clears throat> and definitely, that's like another foot up the wall, and the wall is only like three feet away. I'll have to check that um and then on the back here uh so currently it's the same we can tap that <clears throat> and now i guess that's a narrower view yeah so we get a little bit less view uh there honestly i'm not really sure why you'd want a narrower view um but it's nice to have that option there. All right, so I put a new piece of tape here where the view is cut off about the middle of that tape to the middle of this tape. 
and that's nine and a half inches the distance from the camera is right at about 34 inches so i'll try to do some math on that 34 inches we've got uh nine and a half inches extra from three 34 inches which is almost three feet um so i'll try to get the uh degrees difference of the angle that we have improved there and uh, put up on the screen. So in actual practical use, it is nice to have that extra space on the camera. And I bet that actual uh, extra, I think 15% or 15 degrees or so would actually give a better view of things around you. So one thing I was curious about, uh, and I could actually get some dash cam footage, I think of this, but I was actually curious when I turn right, how far we actually get of a view up the street. So it turns out you can actually start to see the street a little bit uh, to the left. <clears throat> so if the car is angled, that's actually pretty helpful. And so that extra 15 degrees or so could actually be beneficial for FSD. And I believe that is a difference in camera lenses from uh, hardware three to hardware four. All right, here's another uh, real, real world example of the camera. So this is actually the wide angle, which is by default, which I think is actually pretty good. Um, gives you a lot of view. You lose a lot of height when you go to the narrow view. So I no longer get the whole building in scope there, as well as uh, you know, not as much to the left and right. So, you know, not a huge difference. Uh, I don't actually understand what the, the main purpose of the narrow, uh, going to the narrow view would be. Um, but that's all right. Let me know what you think. Is there any reason you would use the narrow view versus the wide view? Yeah, so that's it for this one. Uh, just a quick one checking out those new camera angles. Um, I do like that we have a wider angle on the side view. Uh, I don't really see the purpose of a narrower view on the backup camera, but um, I guess it's, it's decent for an option. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.